Thank you for joining HAC TV. How can Haitians become more civically engaged? Uh, today's program is a pre recorded program, but that doesn't mean that you cannot get engaged. We want you to get engaged. We want you to ask questions, write comments, uh, make some noise right there below in our comment section. We have representatives from HAC that are going to be here to answer any question that you have. We're going to be there. Most importantly, we want you to join our membership by visiting hacglobal.org slash join. As of you become a member, uh, you'll get a, a package, a membership package to learn all about what our membership consists of. Again, thank you for joining. How can Haitians become more civically engaged? This is a pre-recording program, and we're really excited to have you. Hey everybody, thank you for joining the Haitian American Caucus Civic Engagement Series every Saturday morning here on HAC TV. Hi, my name is Sam Pierre. I am the Executive Director of the Haitian American Caucus, and I'm excited to be a part of this program today. Today's going to be a phenomenal program. Uh, we're going to we're going to really talk about civic how to get civically engaged. Uh, we have an amazing special guest that's going to come and talk to us. We've seen her and if in our first uh, Civically Engaged program, if you haven't seen it. And I wanna encourage you to subscribe to HAC. Go on YouTube right now and click that subscription button so that you can get an alert every time we have a new uh, video or program that comes on so that you don't miss any of our programs. Uh, 2021, we've been rolling out programs every weekend. Saturdays, we have our Civic Engagement programming. Sunday morning, we have our Word of Inspiration, which I'm really excited about. And then in February of 20. 21, we're going to be launching HAC Radio, all Creole, where we're going to be having conversations with the Haitian community. And I'm really excited about all the great things that we're doing here. Uh, in order for you to not miss any of this, please visit our website, www.hacglobal.org slash join and consider becoming a member of HAC. Uh, we're rolling out an amazing membership package with so much value in this membership package and people always ask me well what's the cost to be a member of HAC the cost to be a member of HAC is your time we want you to reinvest into your Haitian community so it all it all the only cost to join hack is to volunteer with your community and you can learn all about that by joining right now go to our website hacglobal.org learn more about who we are what we're doing and how we can make the world a better place so without further ado I'd like to bring our special guest for this series of Civically Engagement, Dr. Jenny Ferdinand. Hello. Dr. Jenny Ferdinand. Jenny, how are you? <laughs> Muy bien. I'm doing well. Thank good, you. Good, good, <laughs> good, good, good. Jenny, we're just so happy to have you here on HAC TV talking about Civically Engaged, uh, how Haitians can become, how Haitians become more civically engaged. Let me say it right. How, how can Haitians become more civically engaged? Uh, we appreciate you. You were on the first program that we had. Um, we talked a little bit about you and your background, but we might have some new uh, new guests and new visitors. So let's let, tell them about who Jenny Ferdinand is. Dr. Jenny Ferdinand, make sure you put the doctor in the front. Make sure you put the doctor in the front. Dr. Dr. Jenny Ferdinand, tell them about who you are, no, 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 no. We have to keep the title. So uh, tell us a little, little bit about Dr. Jenny Ferdinand, who she is, and, and why she is on this How Can Haitians Become More Civically Engaged programming. Well, Dr. Jenny Ferdinand is currently a dentist. Um, I have, I was born in Haiti, lived there up until I was about nine years old, until my family moved to New York. So I grew up, you know, kind of in a mixture of things. Um, and as I left Haiti, I found myself just kind of focusing on what my ultimate dream is. And I don't know, you know, in most Haitian households, you know how it is to be successful. You have to be a doctor or be a lawyer or, <laughs> or even an engineer, right. That's you know, it. those three things or were engineer, yeah. engineer. Right. So very right. early on, I knew I wanted to be a doctor. So from there, um, you know, studied hard, did the things that I needed to do in order to become a doctor. Right. And life doesn't always happen the way you plan it. 
And right. in my case, it didn't. I got accepted to med school and figured out that um, my family needed me. And that was number mm. one. So I actually mm -hmm. declined my acceptance and continued to work in corporate America. Um, mm. go, many years in, uh, I realized that God sort of repaved my way back nice. to be okay. a doctor. Just in wow. a different direction, though. Rather than being right. a physician, I found myself you know, falling in love with dentistry and everything else kind of fell in place. Um, in the meantime, though, nice. I met my husband while I was waiting to go to dental nice. school. Um, met my husband. Okay. We got married, went to dental school, had three beautiful boys after that. Um, and now I nice. am here really trying to have impact in my community, trying to give back, uh, trying to do some mentorship opportunities, and just trying to reconnect with my Haitian culture and figuring out how to have impact in the Haitian community, nice. which has led me to hack. <laughs> nice. Hack. Well, yes. Yes. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just, I was just giving you your, yes. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I was going to say, I mean, hack has had so much impact in so many um, young Haitians lives and even older Haitians. And so I, I'm gonna put in the plug for Hack because I, I'm a strong believer that if you if you want to do something that's impactful, just like like Sam said, give your time. Um, HACglobal.org slash join. Please go ahead and go to that website. Um, just take the time and you'll find that it really is doing the things that they said that they do. They're following their mission and they're committed uh, to making sure that we reconnect and we grow in the culture, in America, in Haiti. Absolutely, wow. So um, I wanna highlight one thing, um, um, Jenny, that I wanna highlight the thing that you said. Um, so anywhere in the world, so where are you, Jenny? I'm all over. <laughs> Did you hear me? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, me, meaning like a lot of people think hack is only a New York thing. So. Are you in the Midwest? Are you in the West? Are you in the South? Because we want to show people that you don't have to only be in New York City to be a member of HAC, right? right. So, That's so you're great. in the South. What, what would you be considered? Uh, Midwest? I'm, not Midwest. Yeah, so, Southwest. I, I'm not Southwest. Right. Southwest. Southwest. Right. So absolutely. So that's that's what I was trying to highlight to let people know because we have Haitians everywhere, right? We have Haitians in Boston, we have Haitians in Miami, we have Haitians in LA, we have Haitians. And some people might say, oh, HAC, that's a New York thing. But, but because of digital programming, we are now able to share information to Haitians all around the world, uh, no matter where you are, because the internet is a global um, transportation hub where people can find information everywhere. So I just wanted to highlight that. Um, I love the fact that you said that, no matter where you are traveling, you can still make an impact in your community, no matter what. So I think that's that's phenomenal. That's yeah. great. Um, so what made you, so okay, okay, let's say I'm a dentist. I live in New York, right, or New Jersey, and I'm a dentist, and I'm like, hey, you know what? I, I would I always wanted to help out with the Haitian community, but I just don't know how. I'm not running into Haitians all the time. Or I don't have any Haitians in my town, but I know that there are Haitians that need my help. What might be some of the recommendations that you might have for someone like that? Well, rec the, the funny thing is, like you said, Haitians are everywhere. So right. honestly, <laughs> <laughs> we are, we are everywhere. <laughs> everywhere, okay? everywhere. So really, I think that one of the best resources and i i'm gonna sound like a broken record right now i'm gonna say is hack because yep. your haitian american yes. Yes. Is where we all come to connect and it's out there you just have to go in and you actually you know you don't even have to do much research like we're bringing it to you and allowing you the opportunity to connect with the haitian people like i said we have um and i say we because i'm a part of hack so I'm not, you know, yes. I've volunteered my time to be a part of the Haitian American Caucus. And so with that, I know that they're doing things specifically in Haiti for the kids in Haiti. So if you're trying to connect right. and you're really trying to have impact on people, you don't have to be limited to 
just the small area that you live. You you have people in Haiti that you can connect with and have impact on them. You have people like in New York, in Ohio, in Florida, wherever you are, you can connect with Haitians such as myself and us dentists can get right. together too. And we can be a voice. We could be a platform um, for our people. So just, right. just us connecting makes a difference. Uh, amazing. So let me get this straight, Dr. Ferdinand. You're saying, let's say I'm a dentist in Chicago. I can get through HAC I can get together with dentists that are in New York, New Jersey, potentially create a team and go to Haiti through HAC and do some volunteer work in Haiti for people who really need? You are correct. Hmm. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. And I know, and, and, you know, we do say it in jest, but it's true, right? Like there's so much impact that, that can happen. And one of the things that, um, HAC, when we first started back in 2009, we said that we wanted to be the Haitian Google, where if a Haitian person said, okay, I want a Haitian dentist, right? Because some someone might be like, hey, I want a Haitian dentist. Where am right. I going to find a Haitian? Where do I go to find a Haitian dentist? Where Do I put www.haitiandentist.com? Like, where do I go, right? Like, how am I going to find a Haitian dentist? They can come to HAC and HAC could be like, oh, we know Dr. Um, Jenny Ferdinand. She's a Haitian <laughs> dentist, right? And even if right. she might not be in your town, she might know somebody else. Even if they're not a Haitian dentist, maybe they might be a Grenadian dentist or a Jamaican dentist, but they're still in Dr. Jenny's network. And we know that it's somebody that we can trust, that we can contact to get things done. So we, I think this is a tremendous opportunity for dentists um, and other doctors, physicians all over the world um, that are watching our program right now to, to know that, hey, we have room for you right? We have an right. organization in growth and we have room for you. So uh, exactly. forgive me, Dr. Jenny, I get excited about these things, right? No, um, I agree. I mean, they, this is a topic so, I'm excited about. <laughs> right. Absolutely. So, okay. So, so the first thing they can do is a volunteer, right? Part two, we just had a new president inaugurated yesterday, right? So we have a new president now that's coming in. So, now we know that there are gonna be some new policies that are gonna change, right? Especially some immigration policies, right? right. And um, so what if, you know, what if as a Haitian, a, a, a first generation Haitian, we, we, don't, we just don't know and we wanna learn more about what's gonna to happen to, to Uncle, Uncle Jean Jean, right? Because now there's, there's new policies. We were very, very scared in the old administration, right? So now imagine you're a young professional and you have resources, you might be doing pretty well, but you still can't help Uncle Jean Jean, right? Like, right. How, like, 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 you know, being civically engaged, how do you think that civic, being civically engaged can help someone get those answers and, and, and get those, those relationships? Well, like I said before, um, any connections that you make with people have impact. So, creating your own platform, right. educating yourself. Cause even myself as a young professional, I can say, mm. I don't really do politics like that. You know, like I don't get into it, but right. the fact that it affects right. me, it affects, you know, my livelihood, it affects my people's livelihood. It affects my young boy's mm -hmm. livelihood. Um, I need to learn. I need to understand right. how decisions are made. So there's plenty of things that mm. you can do to yourself and being civically engaged is just that it's not you going out there and protesting and doing all of that i mean all of that can come with it right but it's about mm -hmm. learning mm -hmm. and growing and being able to have these conversations because in the conversation you're inspiring somebody else or you're creating and formulating mm -hmm. ideas that bring people together and who knows, maybe you create a platform where people's voices can be heard that don't have an opportunity anywhere else. And so with all that's happening in our world, we really do have to make sure that we're going out there and we're learning through whether it's books and social media makes it easy, but you have to filter through the information. But there are podcasts, right. um, you know, there are events being held, Hack is doing things. Um, you know, and I'm sure there's other uh, Haitian communities that are putting events together, volunteering right. where 
um, schools. Like I know University of South Florida has a Haitian association and they do a right. lot of things for the community. They, they reach out to people in Haiti. They have great connections. Do your part by being educated. That's the most important thing. And then from there, right. you realize things start it. to unfold, you know? Right. So see, no, I do beautiful. have, no. you know? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So one of the things for me um, as a young mm -hmm. professional, I, you know, I definitely find myself getting more into the community and um, reaching out because now I'm in a place where I can do that more because I'm not mm -hmm. studying you know, 24 seven anymore. I'm able to right. manage my time. But one of the things that I've realized is it's, it can be challenging Absolutely. to be engaged as a professional. So mm -hmm. how can I get civically engaged, like fully, really delve into it and have it not compromise my job or what I do on a day-to-day -day basis? Amazing. That's a, that is a phenomenal question, Jenny. And I know there's a lot of young, other young professionals who are, or, or college grads or people who will be young professionals who, who feel the same way, right? Because when you graduate, you want to spend all the time on your career career you want to spend you know as much time making sure that you're you're on top of your your uh your game so to answer your question i would say there's no bar and uh, there's no limits test for being civically engaged so you don't have to it, being civically engaged there's no marathon right so being civically engaged can be hey i'm i'm going to help somebody fill out one voter registration card just one I helped somebody fill out their voter registration card. They went to vote. Boom. That was, I was engaged civically. Or you know what? On a Saturday evening, I'm gonna go and um, I'm gonna go and hold the sign, right? That's being civically engaged. Or after work today, I'm gonna go to the senior center and I'm gonna read books. I'm gonna read two books to two, to five seniors for two hours. That's civic. That's getting. That's getting engaged. In, and and helping a community, right? Um, or listen, there's there's a, there's a Haitian church that doesn't understand the importance of having health insurance. I'm gonna go and speak to them uh, uh, in a small group for 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 half an hour. Or be, if it's COVID, I'm gonna go on their live stream program like this for half an hour. So it's just like the gym, right? Everybody wants to go to the gym and and work out for three hours, right? But working out for three hours and then not working out for the rest of the year, right, is less impactful than if you work out for 10 minutes every single day for the year right. or, or, or 12 or 15 minutes. So you're starting very slow and then eventually you'll develop into doing more, right? At your job, people, people pay attention to people, right? People ask people, hey, what'd you do this weekend? Hey, what are you doing this evening after work? Hey, what are you watching on TV? Are you watching this Netflix? Like people are social, even through COVID. Um, so when people ask you, hey, Dr. Jenny, what did you do this, this Saturday? Oh, Saturday I did this program uh, called how, how to Help Haitians Become More Civically Engaged. Oh, really? Tell me more about it. Boom, you're entering the civic engagement zone. <laughs> right? Now you're sharing, you're giving them an opportunity to participate in what you just shared on Saturday for civically engaged. So now they are now intrigued and you never know that might motivate somebody to do something else. So um, mm -hmm. that, I think that civically engaged is just starting small. Um, you know, finding out if you want to get civically engaged in your local church or your local elected officials office, you can go on this website where you can go find out who your elected officials is and, um, and churches and things like that. Um, I think my dog wants to talk too. Um, but, but like, there's so many, there's so many ways that you can just start getting involved or, or even your friends group, everybody has a, a, a group chat, right? right? Or maybe you're just like, for example, today I learned on Instagram, cause that's how we get our news now that, um, Joe Biden is suspending student loans until September. They're, he's freezing student loans until September. So me going into my group chat and just mentioning that is a form of being civically engaged because now I'm sharing information that's impacting my whole community. 
So right. little things like that can definitely take you to the next level when it comes to civic engagement. Right. So just to reiterate, so I'm so, what I'm understanding is any form of activity or if you want to call it duty <laughs> that you are partaking in that impacts other people is considered being civically engaged. Yep. So to me that I mean Absolutely. that makes so much it makes so much sense because, you know, like I said before, so many times, and I think we talked about this um, at the first show, people hear civic and they hear politics and that's it. So right. understanding right. that being civically engaged does not mean you have to be in the governor's office doing things, making rules and regulations. It's the little things, it's the volunteering, it's the mentoring, it's the sharing ideas, it's voting, it's um, yep. you know, educating yourself so that you can provide accurate information to other people that can potentially help them, um, supporting your local business, creating a platform, any of those things could be considered civic engagement. Absolutely. So that, Absolutely. That's, um, and that's the that's the most that's the most important thing. Civic engagement sometimes starts in first grade when you run for class president, right? right. Civic engagement is doing a, a community cleanup, cleaning up the trash around the corner in a neighborhood that that always has trash. That's civic engagement. That's community engagement, community cleanup. Like there's so much that people can do that make a difference. Cleaning up the trash means that the water is not gonna get stuck there, that animals are not gonna come. Like a, a, a community cleanup makes such a big difference and people don't understand that. It doesn't take much. That group chat, I know we're talking about what Michelle Obama wore yesterday at the inauguration, but we could also slip in, you know, a, <laughs> hey, why don't we get together and help, help somebody and sub, help somebody else who's less fortunate. Maybe give, like my wife gave, um, um, gave, you know, some of her shoes away to a, a woman's shelter, right? That's civically engaged. That it, What did that cost, right? All she had to do was take out all, you know, take, you know, 20 out of the 5,000 shoes that she has, put it in a bag and, and, and take it to the woman's shelter, right? There you go. That was, that's a form of being civically engaged. So, so there's so much things that you can do to engage, to engage your community. But, but since we want to, Talk about the there is a political side to being civically engaged as well, Dr. Ferdinand, right? And it's not for everybody, but for those who want to be a part of it, you can, right? We know we dealt with um, George Floyd and police brutality and, and social justice, and those things are real and they matter. And we're not an organization that doesn't talk about those things, right? And um, matter of fact, our program today is, is sponsored by EEP Law, which is a law firm that specializes in criminal in um in civil rights and personal injury. So if anyone watching this program has a civil rights issue or a personal injury issue, feel free to visit www.eeplaw.com um, for all your legal needs as they are our, our uh, civically engaged sponsor uh, because we our mission is to show people that they have representation, right, Dr. Ferdinand? So right. if somebody needs a lawyer, go to EEP. If somebody needs a dentist, come to Dr. Ferdinand, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh, man, wonderful, wonderful. So I, I think that this is amazing. Um, you know, I think that, that this is great. And one of the things that I'm excited about, um, Jenny, is that a lot of people might think that this is a show just for young professionals. When we do HAC radio, we're going to be doing it in Creole, and that's going to be focusing on our demographic B, which is, um, you know, Haitians, Creole speaking Haitians and Haitian immigrants, right? Uh, um, I'm 45 plus, and we're going to be talking to them about how to be civically engaged as well. Because So now we can have a well-rounded community. What do you think about that? I think that's phenomenal. It's important to make sure that we're including, we're not you know, we're including all walks of life. And especially when we're talking about the older generation, there's so much wisdom to gain from that. Oh so my God, it, absolutely. Yes, it's really phenomenal. Absolutely. And you find yourself now when your parents used to tell you certain things, oh, you know, you'll exactly. understand. And it's so true. Exactly. When you have kids, oh, that, it's so different. 
And right. now I'm like, man, what my mom was telling me was so right. I mean, right, right, right. <laughs> now I sound like her. Right, so. telling your kids the same thing. Absolutely, exactly. And exactly. and that's important. And I think and I think that the, so so there's a, a gentleman in the Gemma's factory. You might know him. His name is Javon Ferdinand. He talks about um HAC is is a uh, um it, it's a it's not a brand. It's a culture, and that's what we want to build. That culture where we can transfer that information to all three demographics. You know, um, you know, fifty plus young professionals and even the younger generation. So I, I resonate with what you just said, and I think that's amazing. So um, if anyone has that, any questions, that, that man, Javon Ferdinand, he sounds like you know he has it together. <laughs> <laughs> on, uh, on some days, on some days, I think you know. Nah, but we love him. Shout out to Javon Ferdinand, who is our chief of staff here at the Haitian American Caucus. Uh, we love him and we love all the work that he's doing. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to go into, uh, um, you know, write it down in the chat. You know, we are, we will be responding if you have any questions about civic engagement. And again, please, please go to our website, www.hacglobal.org slash join, join the Haitian American Caucus, get involved, tell your friends, tell your parents. Again, the membership, the value of this membership is your time. So you, we're not charging you a million dollars yet, right? Right now, uh, to join the Haitian American Caucus, all you have to do is volunteer your time. So please feel free to go up there and join. If you have any questions, come on the chat. Uh, we have Dr. Jenny Ferdinand here with us uh, this Saturday, and we're excited to have her on Saturday, on a Saturday afternoon, talking about how to be civically engaged. So please feel free to write your questions here. So I have a, a question for you, uh, Dr. Jenny Ferdinand. Um, how um how do you think how is it being a woman of color that's a doctor right um that's also caribbean right we've seen that kamala harris is the first female um and black and uh asian i think south asian um yeah. vice president ever in the united states uh so um how does that make you feel one and two um are there any ceilings to be broken even in your industry? Oh, ceilings, they, they are high. Um, I think that it's phenomenal to have a woman in such a high position at this point. You know, women have been fighting for so long for um, equality on their end. And of course, as a minority, it's always been a battle, whether you're male or female. So to have that representation in the White House is is wonderful. I mean, we saw it with Obama, and now we have you know a female in the White House. Um, from my standpoint, as a doctor, as um, a, a woman, as a mother, as a minority myself from the Caribbean, there's constantly battles to be had. You know, it's it's mm -hmm. interesting actually. I saw a patient yesterday and it was very awkward because the patient is Caucasian. So he's sitting in the chair and he starts to speak about, you know, he's like, oh, the inauguration's coming, you know, and my assistant is also Caucasian. So mm -hmm. he's going on and on and he's talking about, you know, inauguration and he turns around, he's like speaking to her directly. I'm in the room. So he's speaking to her directly and he says, he says, oh, you must feel the same way I do about the new president. And wow. she was so uncomfortable because she looked at me and then she just stared at the computer <laughs> and didn't know how to respond. And so then he realizes the wow. awkwardness. And so he goes, um, he turns and he's like, he's like, well, we'll see what happens. You know, just kind of like trying to brush it off. But the silence right. was just still remaining in the room. And, Yikes. <laughs> and then in the end, he's just like, well, I think I made this situation really awkward. And I was like, well, good thing I don't take anything personal. I'm, you know, politics is what it is. But at the end of the day, um, life goes on. And I just left it at that. And I was like, are you numb? Ready to get started? <laughs> but from my standpoint, <laughs> You know, it's like, what do you do? So as as a woman, it's awkward already, right? And then to be Haitian right. American, 
quote unquote American now right. as a as a citizen of the United States. Um, but to be a Caribbean woman and to be in that position, and even there, I'm like, what do you say? You know, how do you do you address it? Do you just let yeah. it go? And I feel like we encounter that constantly. And so right. what do you do? You know, and sometimes right. we do just laugh it off. But is it right that they that everyone else feels like they can say whatever they they want to say to us and have us just take it? You know what I mean? Right. Right. So right. no, that's that's, that's, uh, well, that's just, <laughs> so much. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing that. Wow. That's and it's so it ties back to, to, to civically civic being civically engaged because you have an understanding of what people went through to get you to where you are today. You know, what sacrifices were made to get you to where you are. And now you are also um, dealing with sacrifices to help the next generation. So, you know, you had to keep your composure and you had to be, you know, the one to understand that you're a bigger person here and you have a bigger mission. And all that goes back to civics, because if you didn't know the history behind how you got here and the fact that you have a, a a woman as your vice president, a black woman as your vice president of the United States of America, wow, that's just phenomenal. That helped you in that moment. So, wow, that thank you for sharing that story, man. I can't, I, I that would boil my blood. Um, but <laughs> Dr. Jenny, I see that you were able to, and I think you taught him a lesson in that in that moment that uh, you're not going to stoop down to his level. And I and I and I believe that goes back to civics because you know your history and you know your power. And the way you know your power is by knowing your history um, and learning history is part of being civically engaged as well, because now you can share your history with other people. But I can, I can talk about this all day, but wow. Thank you for sharing. Thank you so no much problem. for sharing. Thank, thank you so much. Dr. Singh, did you have any, any other questions for me? Yeah, well, not so much a question, but just more or less a statement. Just yeah. knowing yourself, like you said, is so important because at the end of the day, you know, things could have gone left very quickly. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. in the end, I probably would be the one that, you know, would either lose my job or be suspended or, you know, something out of this mm -hmm. world. And was, would it have been worth it? Mm. Probably not. So right. know thyself um, and believe in what you do and know that right. you are worth it and you're valuable. At the end of the day, no matter your value is not because of what, you know, other people say or what other people think of you, your value is from within and you know That's what right. you do, you know how hard you work and you know the things that you're instilling and the people that are close to you and the impact you're having in the community. So just continue mm. to focus on those things and the positive things that are happening. And yes, there's a time and a place, trust me, there is a time and a place to address those That's things, right. um, right. but just make sure that you're in control of that. You know, don't wow. let people you up <laughs> you mm. are in control of it that's right powerful 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 and it's so important i think i think it's so important that our um viewers see a powerful black woman that's here that's a dent that's a doctor right talking to them directly you know um you know talking to them directly and showing them and telling them about their power i think that's amazing that's the kind of that's that's what HEC is all about. That's what we stand for. And we're excited that you were able to uh, be here with us, um, Dr. Jenny Ferdinand. I'm so excited. You got me pumped up. So all the all the ladies out there, girl power all day, baby. Girl power all day. You got a girl right here that's that's a doctor, okay? That's right. Okay, boo. She's a doctor <laughs> and she's here and she's getting civically engaged and she's making time to help you. So make sure you go to www.hac global.org slash join so that you can learn more and potentially even be able to reach out and talk to Dr. Jenny right. um, for now. We're not giving her contact number out. Nope. You need to go and join Hack. And as a member, maybe she'll do a session, uh, you know, as part of her own show, maybe her own show on HAC TV. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? She might have her own show on HAC TV talking about the importance of taking care of your teeth as a Haitian. Not everybody has beautiful teeth like me, right? Right, Dr. Jenny? Right. So Gorgeous. how to take care of your teeth, how to do different things. I have zero cavities, believe it or not. I don't know. I think God just blessed me because I ate a lot of Skittles growing up. A lot of Skittles growing up. I don't know how I don't have cavities, but anyway, 
um, join HAC, go to HAC, join us and learn more and get an opportunity to talk to people like Dr. Ferdinand and other young professionals um, so that you can grow and we can continue to do our mission, which is identify access to resources and information to foster self-development and success. We want you to be developed and to be successful from the information that we are giving you. So thank you so much. Dr. Jenny, any last words to our viewers who are watching today? H-A-C-Global.org. Yes. You guys gonna make me sing it. Yo, she's, she's so good. Oh my God, she's really good. She's so good at this. So thank you so much. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, absolutely, um, 100%. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to PayPal uh, for, for sponsoring the Civic Engagement Program. Thank you to EEP Law for uh, being there for all your legal needs. Um, if you have any personal injury issues, if you have any civil rights issues, any discrimination issues, www.eeplaw.com. Uh, they're here uh, to help and we are excited. I also want to thank our executive producer, Elisha Pierre, uh, yes, for making you. sure that HHTV is running every week and the amazing production team uh, uh, headed by Lee Almanese and Javon Ferdinand and uh, and everyone else who's a part of HAC. I'm pumped and I'm excited. Don't forget to tune in to Word of Inspiration tomorrow. It's going to be really, really special. Tune in to Word of Inspiration tomorrow. And uh, thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful and amazing Saturday. Thank you again, Dr. Ferdinand. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. I hope everybody has a great day. Um, and remember, join HACglobal.org slash join, and you can connect with each one of us. We appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right. Have a good one, everyone. Every life has worth beyond measure. We think each person is a float of potential. Waiting to be unleashed. What if every child, every woman, and every man was able to imagine something new? Full of hope. New dreams and the ability to choose their own future. A new way of seeing the world. The community themselves. Pushing past the obstacles that once were. And when the world yells, you cannot. We will keep whispering, yes, you can. Together we can make a difference. Together we are stronger. Able to move mountains and break the chains of poverty.
Haitian American cookies. Strengthening Haiti through education, health, feeding programs, micro enterprise. We, we are Haiti. We are HAC.